And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. He's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very well. Yeah, you don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just not, kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. <laughs> Throwing now is Wentz. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. And let's see who's faster. Escaping the pressure. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down Let's inside go. the 10 at the 7-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Keenum throwing complete here to Dodson. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Stay with your man. That's it, baby. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They're able to find his running back, Geis. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 20 yards on both of those plays back to back there. They are moving now. It's another first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. On the ground, it's Geis. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Check, check, 59, 59. Here go, 52. Here goes, high. From the 41, Keenum. And he finds the tight run with Thompson. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. 
Down inside the 35 to the 34. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Touchdown, Washington! Jordan Reed, 34 yards. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sends it to 35. It's a gain of 35. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Once again here on second and 10. Now they set up the screen for Clement. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. First play of the drive is a run with Thompson. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one on the carry, Thompson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And this is Selleck here with the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So jumping from his free safety spot. That tells you how aggressive they are on defense, doesn't it? They get everyone involved. He was a little too fast on that play. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. The Redskins, they can smell victory now. They take a knee. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. 
So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all the zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're gonna go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're gonna make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is gonna wind up incomplete. So hail to the Redskins as they get the victory here. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good... So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.